Northwestern Michigan has always been known for its natural beauty. This part of our state seems to draw like bees toward flowers, those with artistic inclinations. There are more artists and craftspeople in this area than you can shake that proverbial stick at. And I tend to believe it's because the natural, physical, simplistic beauty has not been allowed to be corroded by the unappreciative developer. In this area of the state, you'll find tightly knit villages and hamlets whose community fathers are very conscious of the beauty and inspiration that surrounds them. As a tourist, you're made to feel welcome, but when you leave, you're kindly expected to leave the area as natural as when you found it. And Michigan Magazine had every intention of doing just that one bright autumn morning. We set our sights on northwestern Michigan's Antrim County, the home of what has been labeled the third most beautiful lake in the world, Torch Lake. We arrived at Torch Lake at the village of Alden, one of the small, beautifully kept villages I mentioned. Wonderfully kept shops line both sides of the small business district, a perfect setting that always begs to be explored on foot. As we passed down the sidewalks, the autumn leaves were falling, there was a bit of a nip in the air, and the pumpkin trees were in full bloom. Uh, wait a minute, pumpkin trees? That's right. Was this a figment of my imagination? No, those were pumpkins. If it's not natural, knowing we're in northwestern Michigan, it must be the work of one of those artist types. Our curiosity aroused, we explored this property, which was a part of a neat little shop called Alden's Mill House. Here we discovered the artist in charge, who just happened to be an award-winning culinary artist, Chef Eugene McLaughlin. Chef Gino, as he's affectionately known by, expresses himself artistically by carving food. Here, specifically pumpkins. No, not your everyday jack-o'-lanterns, but pumpkins of character. Well, I was a chef at Shanty Creek for many years, and uh, I just got a little tired of, of doing uh, triangles and decided to skin the, the pumpkin down a little bit and uh, start actually sculpting. Mm -hmm. I've done uh, quite a little bit of uh, culinary art and uh, won a lot of awards and, and uh, prizes in uh, international competition. So it just seemed uh, a shame to just continually uh, copy the the same old jack-o'-lanterns, uh -huh. and so I developed a, a new form, and uh, that was about uh, 25 years ago. All I use is a large knife to skin the pumpkin, and then uh, just a paring knife to follow through, and, and a paring knife is all that's needed, plus a little food color and uh, white paint for details, but uh, generally that's all you really need. My goodness, now how long would it take you to, to, to uh, construct something like this? Well, uh, they average about a half hour to 45 minutes. Really? It, yeah, doesn't take long For at all. a tail like this. Yeah. Now, how long do they last? I mean, uh, you've got to caption them. About on. that oh, long. About that long? <laughs> <laughs> no, they yeah. last. They yeah. last about a week, yeah, uh -huh. in general. Yeah, Some, sometimes they surprise you and last two weeks. Mm -hmm. But that's about it. It's touchy to, uh, uh, you, can, you can easily go through uh, in the eye area and in the in the mouth area, mm -hmm. uh, those, those would be the the narrowest part to the center, and that's where the uh, uh, in, uh, the end result comes when when it starts to mold. Uh, it'll it'll hit in those areas because basically it molds from the inside out, and there doesn't seem to be anything you could do to prevent the molding, except a, a light spray of. Uh, Lysol sometimes will help, but mm -hmm. that's about it. And it's best to capture them on film while you can. You bet. Is it difficult to learn or to teach someone? No, it, uh, it really isn't. It, it's just a matter of uh, uh, being able to handle a knife because you can, you know, you can cut yourself mm -hmm. with, uh, uh, with a knife if you're not uh, uh, mm -hmm. used to using one. And mm -hmm. uh, almost anyone can do it. Uh, I don't advise children to, oh, but you're right. and they're the ones that are dying to do it. <laughs> exactly. What type of pumpkin? Is there a certain pumpkin that's just prime for uh, carving like well, that? Well, as a matter of fact, uh, this is a pumpkin, but this is a squash. And the squash is a little better than a pumpkin. It's a little uh, uh, meatier, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I uh, like doing it. This is a Hubbard, a Hubbard. and you can find them in a, in a bright orange that uh, outclasses the, the orange pumpkin. But uh, the main thing with the pumpkin is is the uh, heaviness. If it if it's a nice heavy one, it has a, a denser meat. And sometimes the pie pumpkins, the smaller pie pumpkins, have more meat uh, ratio than than the larger ones. Mm -hmm. I like to use those. Chef Gino's culinary carving techniques have become so popular that he's even had to produce a how-to instructional video on pumpkin and other vegetable carving. 
Ah, but Chef Gino's forte is not only that of culinary carving, but his years of working as a chef at quality restaurants has yielded other artistic culinary abilities. A visit inside the Alden Mill House will prove that. Here on display is a line of original blends of spices. Chef Gino has developed under the Pepper Mill Spice Company label and marketed throughout the Midwest. A definite taste of Michigan that can't be duplicated. We have our dips here that we uh, manufacture, are quite popular. They make anywhere from three to six pounds of dip each bag. No kidding. One of these little bags. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have, Goodness. That's our Best very bones. famous uh, dill dip. We have garlic and chive, honey mustard, fruit dip, taco. Ooh. Mesquite and Goodness. French, uh, picante, jalapeno. We have a uh, very delicious uh, uh, coleslaw dressing. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Now, these are all your concoction out of your head, out of your yeah. combinations. And, right. uh, yeah. these, uh, these are uh, are very popular items for us. Mm -hmm. And we have Torch Lake honey. Mm -hmm. and, uh, very popular corner right here. Mm -hmm. It is. is. Dessert after this they is dessert enjoy after their the snacks over here. Goodness <laughs> gracious. Wow. <laughs> is there any secret uh, combination that, uh, as far as a ranch dip? or is You it, think I'd uh, tell you? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping. <laughs> but uh -huh. we, try to, we try to go as natural as we can with uh, our seasonings, especially. We have no MSG in the se seasonings, and they're all... Uh, uh, what we call supernatural. Mm -hmm. A trip through Chef Gino's establishment will uncover every spice you'll ever need, including rich cinnamon and the exotic yet most flavorful Malabar pepper. The Alden Millhouse and the Pepper Mill Spice Company are a fine example of what a person will be able to find along Michigan's back roads. Here we come to visit the world's third most beautiful lake, Torch Lake, and discover a unique culinary craftsman and master chef and find a community alive with hospitality and enthusiastic optimism for the wonderful life they lead. As a matter of fact, during our visit at the Mill House, we were visited by another culinary artist from just across the street. And yeah. this is the town of hospitality. What do we have here? From uh, the muffin tin? The is that muffin tin. Is look at here. Over. Goodness, come on. <laughs> well, look at this. I tell you, this is the town to come to. Look at this. Look. Oh, that's hot. That is hot. Wonderful. Mmm. Wow. She delivers. Goodness, <laughs> look at that. There you go. She works both, both sides of the street. <laughs> I see. A muff, uh, what kind of a muffin is this? Can this is oat and a topping, and this is lemon blueberry. Mm. Specialty oh, yeah. of the muffin tin they of Traverse City and Alden. Goodness, look at that. Yeah, they do a marvelous job. They do. Ooh. Yes. She, mm. I bet you can go good with that fruit dip, They're too. Going. This is the place to come, Alden, Michigan. Isn't it? I'll tell you what. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a turn of the century type thing. Beautiful lake. It's, uh, what, a third the most beautiful lake in the world, That's they right. say? Yes. Mm -hmm. Goodness. It's like... Uh, being on vacation and working at the same time. That's right. That's right. It's wonderful. True. Well, I'd like to thank you, Gene, for taking time to show us the, uh, mm -hmm. there's the mill house here and uh, what we could call the house of good taste. Mm -hmm. And appreciate that. We'll be back yeah. many, many times. We invite everybody on up here to the Alden area, Torch Lake, having mm -hmm. a good time. Mm -hmm. And you will not go hungry, I tell you that. <laughs> My goodness. Mm -hmm. Thanks again. Okay. So off we went, leaving that wonderland of sugar and spice behind with one final glance at those pumpkin trees. Michigan Magazine was on the road again. Maybe someday we'll get a closer look at that lake.